Alright, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Flan Gaming here with his first tutorial ever and I feel like I need to address uh, this tutorial very badly because there's not many videos out there as if the PS5 has just, you know, came out. So there's not many tutorials on many things. Uh, what we're going to work on today though is how to use your Elgato, whichever one you have, Elgato 60S, S Plus, 4K, whatever as well as your Astro Mix Amp with your PS5. All right, let's get into it. So, first thing you wanna do is you're gonna have your HDMI out. This is the out port. It's gonna be plugged into your monitor. Monitor, out. HD60S, out. Monitor, out, HD60S, cool. Next. So now the difference is, normally this would go into your PS5, but not today. We are going to use this Astro optical adapter from Astro. And this is what they made so they can accommodate for the PS5 not having a optical port in the back. So this Elgato in is going to go to this astro hdmi output right so this is this is the first middleman this is the second middleman this is where it's going into elgato in to the astro out right and then for the next hdmi the first time ever disclaimer you do need to go into your settings so once you get into your settings you go to system you're gonna go down to hdmi and you have to make sure enable HDCP is unchecked. Unchecked. If you do not, this will not happen. You will not get your picture. You will not get a signal. You will stress over and over. You have to do this before you begin the process. All right, moving on. So let's get back to the Astro. We have this aux cord, right? It's just going to be sim simple. It's going to go straight to your... Elgato, Astro aux cable, Elgato. That's gonna serve as your chat link cable that nobody wants to buy for, it's too expensive. So th this USB cable is gonna go all the way, however you route it, to the front of your PS5 or back, whichever works for you. Uh, for routing purposes, I have mine in the front as it is a 3.0 port, okay. So that's gonna supply the power to the Astro. So we can demonstrate if I unplug from the PS5, see how we have the LEDs on now? If I unplug from the front of the PS5, now we have no power. So let's go back to plugging it back in. It's plugged back in, LEDs are on. All right, so now let's move on to the Astro power source. So this Astro optical adapter is will is going to be powered by a USB cable. Uh, it'll come in the box. This will go to uh, the other USB port that you have on your PlayStation, whether it's the front or back. This is what's gonna go into that port. So again, Astro, Uh, let's see, DC5V, that's going to go to the back of the PlayStation. Great, now we got that. And lastly, the power source for the Elgato, okay? We have the power source for the Elgato. It will go to your computer. So mine's plugged in back there. One more time. Type-C cable into the Elgato, and it will be ran to your computer. Some side things you guys should try to work with uh, before you try to work on streaming or anything like that, or recording, recording gameplay, you do have to go to sound and make sure that your audio output is on USB headset works just fine you don't need to touch it 
You don't need to put HDMI amplifier because we have that here. We have the amplifier here. We have already established what type of HDMI it is. So we'll go ahead and put it there. Next, uh, by default, it probably won't be on 5.1, but if it is, leave it there. If it's not, change to 5.1. Chat audio is going to the headphones. Uh, all of this will be unchecked. It's just how it goes. Um, and then for format priority, uh, just leave it on Dolby Bitstream. If it's not there by default, then select it. Next, going back to the Elgato now, settings for Elgato. Um, go ahead and click the gear icon. Make sure it's on PS5. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then audio output, you will select this to analog. It is no longer, the audio is no longer sourced from technically the HDMI, just the, uh, the analog now. Um, you can leave these to whatever you run. Uh, mine's on 1080, allows 60 FPS, standard, none of this st stuff really matters. Um, but this is what allows me to stream my gameplay, uh, allow for my viewers to listen to the audio and I can hear the game just fine. You don't need to mess with anything here. You know, just the knobs is whatever you hear. Um, so yeah, if you want your stuff sounding like this. Yeah, I gotta go on the Discord to see what the heck's going on. I'm on that quad, duels, or even trios. Yeah. All right, guys, before I get back to the recap of the video, I wanted to talk about that last footage. The game audio was a little bit too high. It was just an in-game setting. But you can definitely tell that the party chat is still there. It works. These settings work. Just got to follow them step by step and you will have a successful stream. Follow. I I try to dumb it down. Um, so if, you, if refresher, HDMI out, monitor, HDMI in, Astro out, Astro in, PS5. PS5, USB to PS5. Optical port, optical port, power source, PS5, HDMI, PS5, this is the HDMI in, PS5, PS5. So I hope you guys um, receive some help in some way. Um, if there's anything I left out or you guys need questions, Please feel free to hit me up in the comments or anything like that. Um, socials will be in the description.